Okay guys, now we go on and in part one, it is unusual to get multiple choice questions, but we have multiple choice questions here in academic reading. Now remember when they give you multiple choice questions in IELTS listening, they give you three options because time is running out and all that. When they give you multiple choice questions in IELTS uh, reading module, there are four options. Okay, now what to do? The good news is it's type A. Type A means questions and answers are in order. Once you find answer of question number 10, you got to read on and you'll find other answers. Okay. Uh, the first thing. Second, uh, you will only read the question first. You will not read the options. If you read question and options, you're wasting your time and you're wasting your energies and you're confusing your mind. You just read the question first. From the question, you will find the clue word. And then you will look for that clue word in the passage where you find the clue word, read about it, find the answer. And for, for multiple choice questions, there will be one sentence in the passage which will match with option A, B, C, D. Only one sentence. Sometimes it can be two, but mainly it's one sentence. Okay, so you need to find it out first and then you can come back. Now let's read the question. The writer refers to Film of train in order to demonstrate. Now we've already read about film of train. Uh, okay, now the writer mentions uh, or refers to the film of train in order to demonstrate. Now what we have to find, we will go back to the passage, we will look for train and we will see what is it that writer demonstrated through the example of this movie of train. Okay, so for this we will go back and we have to come to paragraph C where they further talk about this train and all that. Got it? Paragraph C. Now, we have to see what is it that the writer tries to demonstrate. I'm reading it from the middle. Can you see it from there? Yet the Russian director. Got it? Yes. Okay, now let's read it. Yet the Russian director, Henry and name, one of the greatest of all film artists, described the film as a work of genius. Which film? Train. Film about train, work of genius. As the train approached, wrote Tarkovsky, panic started in the theater. People jumped and ran away. This was the first movie ever made on the screen. They showed the movie when the train arrived. People thought a rail train is coming and they jumped from their seats and they ran away. All right. That was the moment when cinema was born. Now he demonstrated this example and he said that was the moment when cinema was actually born and audience was and uh, let's read on the frightened audience could not accept that they were watching a mere picture. Right? Frightened audience. Even now, you know, when we watch a movie, we start crying and we are afraid of horror movies and all that. Okay? Now, let's go back. And we read the options and we see which option is appropriate for that. So, uh, writer refers to a uh, film of train in order to demonstrate. Option A, simplicity of early films. Yes, and I tell you, this is called elimination. As you guys said, no. This is called elimination. And in multiple choice questions, elimination is the best technique. Instead of looking for the right answer, you need to find the wrong options and negate them. Now, please put a little cross at the end. Impact of early films. Yes? Okay. Well, let, let's just mark it as question mark. How short early films were? He said it was a 30 second movie, but he didn't use the word. It was very short and all that. No. Option D. How imaginative early films were. Yes. There is no mention of imagination. See, the train was coming and audience was running. It was not imaginative. Right. So correct answer is option B. Impact of early films. And what was the impact? The audience, they were panicked. They were terrified and they ran away from the cinema. They thought the train is coming and all that stuff. So correct answer is option B for question number 10. All good? Yes, sir. 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 Whatever is written, try to read and understand only that much. Don't go to the next step. When you go to the next step, then you always have wrong answers. Okay? Now, let's go on. Yeah. 
So, no, no. Listen, listen. This is your interpretation. When we are doing reading, we are looking for the interpretation given in the passage. You can say simple train coming, 30 second movie, huh? simplicity. To me, it's simplicity. Not to me. What does the writer say in the passage about it? That is important. Okay. All right. Now, let's go on. Question number 11. This star, Tark. Okay, let's call it Tark. Tark's opinion. Uh, okay, Tark's opinion. Attraction of cinema is that. Now, what is the attraction of cinema according to Tark's opinion? Now, we will go back to the same paragraph. And uh, for Tark's opinion, they say for Tark. For example, Asad's opinion for Asad. In Asad's point of view. Right? So we go back and we see Tark's opinion. Yeah. Paragraph? Good. Okay. Paragraph C? In the middle? No. It's paragraph D. All right. Please come to paragraph D, second column. And there they have mentioned this thing for Tark. Found it? Okay. For Tark. Key to that magic was the way in which cinema created a dynamic image. So what, what was it? Uh, yeah, way in which cinema created a dynamic image of the real flow of events. Flow of events, dynamic image and all that. Let's read one sentence more. A still picture could only imply the existence of time while time in a novel passed at the whim of the reader, but in cinema, the real objective flow of time was captured. Now he's talking about flow of time and all that. We go back. It's not that book. It's novel. No, come on. It's novel. We pronounce it different. It's a different word. Novel. No, the word is different. Novel is something new. Okay, guys. Now, here we are. Question number 11. In Tark's opinion, attraction of cinema is that. Option A. Aims to impress its audience. No. All right. We leave it. Uh, tell stories better than books. No. And those who do not read properly and they say novel, novel, books. I Canada now. Okay, so the world is not novel, the world is novel, novel techniques. Okay, next, illustrates the passing of time. Yes, right. yes. and last is describes familiar events. No, so illustrates the passing of time, flow. They use the word flow of time, passing of time. Correct answer is option C. Huh? Yes. No, actually, this is, uh, let me tell you, this book has got a lot of mistakes. Please correct it. Time. It was retyped by some, mm, and that's why there are mistakes, okay? And by chance, I found this book, so we printed the handouts from there and all that, okay? Don't worry. Now, let's go on. We read the next question. Question number 12. When cinema first began, people thought, now whose opinion is it? People's opinion. When, when cinema first began, people thought. We go back and cinema first began and people thought. So what is it that people thought when cinema first was introduced? Okay, for people thought, look for some said. Some said. Some said. Second page of the passage. Second page of the passage, some said. Second page, and some said, found it? H paragraph, and fourth last line. Got it? So for people, they use the word some. And you need to notice all these things carefully, how they do it. Okay, indeed, some said. Some means people. Some said, once this novelty, sir, novelty means something new. Novel, novelty, okay? So, once this novelty has worn off, cinema would fade away. People said, now people are attracted, moving pictures and all that. Once this novelty has gone, like, they will, know, they will not take interest. It was no more than a passing gimmick, 
a fair ground attraction. They said it's only for the time being. Once this novelty is gone, nobody will care to watch it and all that. Now we go back. This is what people said. Just keep in mind. Indeed, some said that once this novelty had worn off, worn off means to finish. Cinema would fade away. Means nobody will take interest in the cinema. Now we go back to the questions and yeah. So when cinema first began, people thought that it would always tell stories. No or not at all. Some options are not at all. Means not possible. Okay. We will cross it. Option B. It should be used in fairgrounds. They use the word fairgrounds, but actually not. It should be used. It should be used means cinema should be used in fairgrounds. Okay, US audience were unappreciative. No, its future was uncertain. It would fade away. It would fade away means future was uncertain. Like, you know, some people's fame fades away after some time. Nobody knows them. So D will be the right answer for question number 12. All good? Okay, now let's read question number 13. Question number 13. What is the best title for this passage? Now, there are two options. Uh, by the way, for this, you will not read the passage. Because you've already read and you've answered some questions. You can do one thing. Wait for one type of questions is left. Which paragraph contains the following information? You can go through that and then you can answer. But anyways, I mean, as per your understanding, they tell us about the history of cinema, how it started, and what was the reaction of people, and all that. Now, we go through these uh, options. Rise of cinema star. See, rise of cinema is fine, but they didn't mention star and all that. And by the way, out of four options, three options will cover only some paragraphs. One option will cover all the passage. So you need to look for the option, which is the bigger option, which covers all the passage. Okay, then we've got uh, question number, option B, cinema and novels compared. See, they, they gave you some comparison, but actually it's not only the whole passage. Option C, domination of Hollywood. All the passage, it's not about domination of Hollywood. In the first two, three paragraphs, they didn't mention that. Domination of Hollywood means all the passage will tell. Hollywood makes movies and they dominate and they make thousands of movies and all that. Now, when A, B, C, they are wrong, it means D will be the right answer. Power of, and what is big screen? Cinema. So the whole passage is about power of big screen. Question number 13, correct answer is option D for doctor. Okay? All right.